Hey, Asp, here we go. We got uh, our Isonic cleaner, and you can see here, I'm going to pop this bad boy. The thing that I, the reason I bought this one, this is a little larger, 2.6 quarts, um, is because it has the metal basket. So I got the metal basket right here, and then it's a, um, I, I'm, I'm guessing that's aluminum, but whatever, a metal tray. So that's going to be a, hopefully a lot easier to clean. So we are going to rock that, and with that, I got a bottle of the big stuff of the uh, brand new Frog Lube Super Degreaser. So we are going to light this bad boy up. I'll let you know how it does. Okay, so this is what's going in there. Maybe a little hard to see. Uh, this is my brand new VP9. Um, we have, let's see if I can get kind of some shots of that. That's kind of, that's what a VP9 looks like after, oh, I don't know, a thousand rounds, give or take. Uh, let's see if I can, you know, I've put a, uh, a little bit through it. So, I mean, it's, it's had, uh, I think about 1200 rounds in reality. Uh, firing pin or the I'm sorry the recoil spring uh, let's see if I can get a good shot back there of the uh, filth in there that guy's pretty dirty like I say I had about 1200 rounds here in factory original uh, I'm also going to put my TCP in it um, this gun is full of disgust though uh, that's mostly pocket yeah I think more than anything else I'm I'm ashamed of myself um, but that's what this gun looks like right now that's what the inside looks like barrel let's see if i can kind of get you a pick of that that's what that bad boy looks like filthy so we're going to see how this sonic cleaner works okay so we are hot out of this they're actually almost too hot to handle still and i want you to see what these look like um what i call them perfect probably not perfect that wouldn't be the word that i would use but definitely and you can feel that the metal is much 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 cleaner the, the plastic is ridiculous uh, on that TCP. I mean, it's just really taking everything out of it. The the sp uh, springs are really, really good. I want to show you uh, the barrel here. You can see, and again, that one was pretty dang filthy, and you can see now it is really super clean. Uh, I want to show you two on the HK. You can see that feed ramp is definitely a whole lot different there. Uh, again, now you can't see any filth in there. Gosh, that slide's super hot. Uh, it's too hot to hold on to for long. Um, and you can see all the filth and stuff has gone out of there. And so now it's time to lube them up. Uh, I'm gonna gonna use my CLP. I love my frog lube. You can see all the garbage that came out of there, and that stuff is super filthy. So that was four cycles. I wanna I want you to to see uh, 32 minutes with the uh, frog lube super degreaser uh, in a five to one solution. Okay, here's the um, kind of final results before I put them together. Um, I frog lubed these guys. I, I wiped them down just a little bit. Um, and you can see now, if I, if I pull that up there, I mean, this gun is, is in perfect condition. Remember now, I got this from the factory. I put 1,200 rounds through it, um, and it hadn't been cleaned. And so I put it in uh, the Sonic Cleaner. And, uh, you know, mea culpa, I've not been compensated by frog lube for this at all. Um, you know, I don't have a, an arrangement with them or none of that stuff. I just... Um, I just believe in this stuff. It works, and this is why I use it. So um, this looks fantastic. Uh, I want to show you here. I'm going to grab real fast. Uh, it's kind of hard to see from this angle. So i tell you what I'm going to do here. Uh, can you see that? I don't know if that's going to show well. We'll see. We'll see if that shows up in the video. The bore is beautiful. Absolutely spotless. And again, after 1,200 rounds, that's quite a bit. Sorry for the crazy motion there. Hope I didn't make anyone motion sick. My old TCP. Um, this guy was filthy. You guys saw that. Totally filthy. And now, again, um, I did take um, just a little uh, scrub brush. I took a little um, a little toothbrush to a couple parts that were really, uh, especially, it was there's some kinked in stuff down in here. Um, and I did along the rail as well with a little bit more CLP. But it is absolutely beautiful. And it's been frog lubed again. This guy here is spotless and immaculate when it was filthy and nasty before. Same thing in the bore on this, just absolutely beautiful. Um, and so I'm going to put them together. Now, people are going to kind of feel like, wait, they're, these are pretty um, dry. And, and so what are you going to now lube them with? Well, the frog lube is kind of soaked in because when they came out of the sonic cleaner, they were 180 degrees. Now, if you read, you say, oh, you've got to bake you know, frog lube when you first do it. Well, uh, remember, this is going to take all the yuck out of them. Uh, it's going to take everything off of it, including all the oils. And so when they come out, they come out at 180 degrees. The, the water is still hot. And so what I've done is, is that as I've worked one piece, I left everything else in. I kind of put the other stuff back. Then when I came back and when it was time, I pulled it out, dried it off real fast. It was still really hot. 
frog lubed it so then it had had the chance to bake in. So uh, I'll put them together and show you guys what they feel like. Okay, last bit on this. Um, I know some people were probably wondering. Um, I bought the 2.6 liter one, the larger one, uh, particularly because it has the metal basket and the metal uh, uh, bowl. And people are wondering, well, how is it going to clean up? When I first started this, my wife said, how is it going to clean up? It's probably going to be a real bear. Well, I'll tell you what I did. It was still warm. I don't. It wasn't still 150 degrees warm, but it was still warm. I poured it out down the sink um, and I wiped it out with a paper towel. And that's what it looks like on the inside. I don't think I would let it get cold. That's probably a wise thing. I don't think I'll let it, but the basket's great. Um, I wiped them both down with a paper towel and that's what the paper towel looks like. So you can see there's really not much on it. Maybe a tiny bit of discoloration, but the unit is great to put away now and ready to go. So overall, I think incredibly successful. Okay, so uh, a final here on uh, the Isonic cleaner. Um, and I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna put uh, links here and the frog, frog lube super degreaser. Um, I just want you to see, um, first of all, of course, that uh, I've cleared this. This gun is empty. Um, boy, uh, first of all, I love, I love uh, after frog lubing it up with the CLP, it smells minty, delicious. Um, I love the fact that this gun is super clean, but it is not greasy, it, it's not feeling lube. Um, fantastic, really did a great job there. My little Taurus TCP, this is my backup gun, uh, same thing there. Uh, empty gun, empty gun, um, and again, uh, runs like a top and nice and clean, minty fresh, uh, and everything looking great. This thing did a great job. Uh, the Frog Loop Super Degreaser, absolutely fantastic. I uh, can't recommend it highly enough. Now, again, I don't have a deal in place with Frog Loop or with Isonic. Of course, we do have the Amazon affiliate accounts if you buy through the links. We appreciate that. Helps support what we do here at ASP. Um, I had to use four cycles. So it, it goes up to eight minutes on this particular timer. I did it four times. Um, just let it go one after another. Took all the parts from this VP9 and all the parts from this TCP and they all fit in this little basket. I've got it stored right now, so I've got this stuff. They all fit in here, all fit in with that time. Two handguns worth of parts. Um, you could certainly put a bolt carrier group or whatever for your AR-15 in here as well. Um, if you had a big rifle, you'd need more. But um, now I will say this, the five to one solution you see here, I used about, oh, I'd, I'd say a quarter of the bottle, um, give or take, I had some extra. So um, this stuff's not cheap, but you wouldn't do that with these guns all the time. And given how much you're gonna do all of it and all that, I have found my solution. This is what I'm going to do. Um, I just, I've owned these for just a couple weeks and I'm sold. So can't recommend them highly enough. Hope it helps you, Aspers.